Hello students. In this video, we'll continue to solve problems that require us to use two or more index laws. So once again, my suggestion is uh, try them on your own first and then check your answers. Okay, let's get started. Have a go with the first one. Stop the video and restart when you're finished. Okay, anything to the zero power is one. So you could have something really, really complicated inside those brackets and it still simplifies to one. So that one's nice and easy. Okay, try the second question. And let's see how you went on that. Well, here I have to raise a power to a power. To raise a power to a power, I multiply powers. Anything to the zero power is one, so times one. And anything multiplied by one is itself, so m to the power of 12 times one is just m to the power of 12. Next question. What I'll do first is multiply powers with the same base. That's x to the power of 6 plus 5. And, of course, any number divided by itself equals 1. Or, if you apply an index law, you get x to the 11 minus 11, which is x to the 0, and anything to the 0 power is 1. So, again, it doesn't matter whether you just use the fact that any number divided by itself equals 1, or if you use your index laws, you get the same answer either way. Okay, and the last question. I'll just give myself a little bit more space here. So what I'm going to do first is simplify the numerator, multiply the coefficients. 2 times 5 is 10. And b to the power of 6, c to the power of 8. And in my denominator, I've got 4 times c to the power of 7 plus 1, which is 8. Now c to the 8 divides c to the 8 just cancels out or goes to 1. Um, the b to the 6 just stays as b to the 6. There's nothing to do with that. And we can divide or simplify 10 over 4 by dividing each of those by 2. And that gives me 5b to the 6th all divided by 2. Okay, let's have a go on the next page. So express each of these with positive indices. So we've done similar questions before, so have a go, please. Okay, for the first one, to raise um, a number or a variable to a negative power, we just rewrite it as the reciprocal to the positive power. The reciprocal of 1 over d to the negative 2 is d to the negative 2, but change it to the positive power, and that gives us d squared. Okay, similarly, with this one here, the x cubed stays as it is. The y to the negative 6 in the denominator becomes y to the positive 6 in the numerator. So that one simplifies to x cubed, y to the power of 6. Okay, this one here, we have to do it in two stages. There's a couple of ways we could do it, but I'll start by removing the brackets. So a squared, all to the negative 4, is a to the 2 multiplied by negative 4, which is negative 8. b cubed to the negative 4 is b to the 3 times negative 4, which is negative 12. So the first thing I did is I removed the brackets. Now, the second thing I have to do is get rid of the negative indices. So a to the negative 8 in the numerator becomes a to the positive 8 in the denominator. b to the negative 12 in the denominator becomes b to the positive 12 in the numerator. OK, and we have one more video on problem solving, which we will do very shortly.